All right, this is the follow-up video for the autoresponders. This is Dave Gardner with Magnetic Sponsors calling again. And just showing you uh, where we were before here. We had just done a little bit of work on the uh, index.html. And we're going to go a little follow-up here to, to finalize that autoresponder. We had an issue with logging on. I think it was because I had GVO... Um, logged in before so there just you know if you have the web host manager it might be an issue with logging in through your uh, through your cPanel so just just keep that in mind uh, if we go into our index when I click it once it turns blue or highlights it if I can go to the HTML edit, to HTML edit, editor and that basically is a WYSIWYG uh, basically what you see is what you get you can kind of make uh, however you, you know make it look how you want it to look so hopefully we can get this to work appropriately I've had issues with my internet, so hopefully the uh, issue doesn't doesn't continue. I'm going to get rid of as as much as I can and extra stuff that I don't really need to have open. Uh, could be preventing some of the sites from opening up. For some reason, I was able to get it earlier. Let's let's try uh, the other editor just to see if it's an issue with the page or if it's an issue. See, now this one's coming up again. Very limited HTML, but again, this is just for code. A lot of people aren't really familiar with that. You might get uh, you know, accustomed to it and, and see what some of it means in the, in the beginning. Uh, let's see here. I am noticing something that this is not changing color for some reason. Usually it changes a brighter color, lets you know that it's going to recognize that. But I'm not sure why I didn't do it this time. So, anyways, here we are in our index. What I'm going to do quickly, I'm just going to insert one table, and it's just going to be one square. I'm going to change it to one row, one row. I'm going to change my pixels to about 600 uh, instead of a percent because you want it to be somewhat in the middle of the computer. And if I use different systems like uh, Firefox or uh, Google Chrome. Sometimes opening in different uh, views makes it look different. So we're just trying to keep it as, as simple and, and clean as possible. We're going to make the border as zero, which will basically make it a clear object. You won't really see the border. Okay, so we're going to insert that, but right now you can see it's way over there on the side. We want to center it, so we need to uh, change the properties. Let's see, we are going to, if we click the drop down arrow, we can change the table properties to center it. And I think everything else should be set. But I want to center it, and then uh, as you can see, it's once I click apply, it, it's moved over. So here it is. And I'm going to throw a couple letters in there just so I can find it later. I copied my code from earlier. This is the original autoresponder. We can see there, uh, get your $2 secret uh, here. We had added that in earlier. I just uh, control A to select all, or you can click and drag the whole thing. And then control C copies it. And then what I'm going to do here is control V, but I need to go to this bu uh, button right here. I need to go to the source. And basically, there's my code right there, but I also want to get rid of this NBSP. Uh, that basically puts in some uh, blanks and, and spacing. So I'm just going to do Control V, and there's my code. And basically, I'm going to click Design, and there we go. Okay, everything's all set. If I click Save, now what I can do to my original site, I can see that the uh, new thing is there. It's gonna, I'm going to refresh it. Okay, so here it is. And when we go into GVO. Go into our GVO back office. We'll do a little trial just to show uh, what happens when you actually get a uh, subscriber. And we have one other change from what we did earlier. So we're going to go into the autoresponder and we're going to change the form up a little bit just so you can see this in action. So I'm going to go to my forms. I'm going to go to $2 Secrets already up there. There's my form there. So I want to uh, show it on something different. So I'm, I'm just going to totally switch this to a different page. Uh, we're going to make this go to my YouTube page. So let's see, youtube.com backslash barefoot painting. Okay, so that's my um, YouTube page. And we're going to do this one 
the already just, uh, subscribed. So we'll see. We'll see what happens when it when it goes through a couple times. So uh, YouTube.com uh, bare, uh, barefoot painting. Then the other one we're going to go to my uh, one of my other blogs, your review guru.com. So basically just getting a couple different options. Notice I what you should see again. Originally you want to unclick this. Depending on what you want to have there, I only want just the email. So this has been unchecked, and I'm going to edit that. And what happens sometimes that will change the code. So I'm just going to grab the code one more time, just to make sure that everything is okay. Uh, I don't want there to be any uh, issues. So we're going to go back into the source, and what's going on here? Sometimes it, it's actually better at this point. I'm going to close this one. And we're going to go into edit. It's a little bit easier. It doesn't spread it out uh, as well. You don't have to use the scroll bars. Basically, everything was right here at, at the bottom, what I needed from the form to the form. So we can see the original table I put in there. And then we can see where it says form method right here. Okay, that's where it started. And basically, the, the submit part, basically at the end, uh, I think there's a little code missing there, but it should fix once I put the new code in there. So notice this part should be at the bottom here you should see this uh, section this is basically the the link button where uh, you're actually going to be able to link to your autoresponder so we're going to go and check this out I'm just going to go back and look at the actual site again. I'm going to refresh it and it should still be there okay it doesn't look like, look like anything changed now we're going to enter a sample email Okay, which is my email, barefootpainting at gmail.com. Now, before I do that, we're going to go in and I want to check the subscribers. Okay, so at this point, this one is alphabetical, even though the other ones are in order of when I did them and like the $2 secret was at the bottom. In some cases, they're going to be at the top. In this case, it's alphabetical. Notice no active members, no pending members. Again, April 1st, 2012 through May 1st, 2012. And again, today is April 11th. So it's registering, it is zero. And if I go into uh, my Gmail as well, we'll show you what's going on with this. And there is nothing here. But if we look at this one right here, okay, from Joel Terrian, he is the CEO of GVO. So he's the one who basically sends us stuff. If you click that button that you want to be notified of new subscribers, you're going to get an email from Joel saying that, you know, a new you know whatever your campaign is subscriber is just opted in so uh, new magnetic sponsors uh, person that opted in if we if I scroll down a little bit I'll see a couple more okay there's a, a your review guru uh, person opted in I had three of them uh, Camillus ads opted in okay and, and I, have, I have other things there that people are opting in as well so uh, it's quick and easy that you can check your email and see when people have opted in so no one's there if we go back here I'm going to click this, and if you remember, I put it to go to YouTube. So a good test will be that this will bring me to YouTube. So let's let's check it out. We're going to give this a click, and we're going to hope for the best. And look, there it is scrolling up. There's my YouTube channel. And what I should also see if I go in my inbox, in a second, this should pop up that a new uh, person has joined. And I should get that first email here in just a second, too. It usually shows up pretty quick. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to click over here. I'm going to refresh this page as far as subscribers go, and it should show up as a one. All right? Sure enough, there it is. There's one. And I can click on it, and you can see there it is, Barefoot Painting. I'm active on April 11th. Okay, my next follow would be April uh, April 12th. If we go back to uh, the inbox, okay, just because I refreshed it, there it is. There's my email from me. Okay, what I should also be getting, and it may come in a, a minute or two, is another email from Joel that basically says, you know, basically the same thing as we see down here. Uh, where is it? Uh, right here, it should say a new $2 secret subscriber just opted in. So that one should populate in a second. Hopefully it didn't go to spam. No, nothing there. Okay, so we'll, we'll check back there in a second. So once, once we can get this going, so let's say we go back to the site. Okay, $2 secret, right? And we see this kind of, if we enter it again, 
I'm already in the system, so we don't want to uh, you know waste the person going there. We want to send them someplace else if they've already been subscribed. So in this case, it should send me to the other website. Notice it did to yourreviewguru.com. And again, that can benefit you with you know the first time. Again, they don't have to go through the opt-in process. They don't have to go through the OTO process or the you know the one-time offer process. Instead, they can go right to you know the thank you page again as a reminder. And it doesn't you know build up your your uh, stats here as well. It just it goes at the same person. So, all right, that's still not there. Not a big deal. All right. What I also want to show you, we're going to go back here, and I'm going to actually delete this code. And we're going to delete everything that was in here, except for that first line. Okay, and I'm going to save it. Now, if we go back to our site, and I'm going to refresh this, notice this disappears again. And what I want to walk you through is the other type of form, which is the form wizard. And again, we can use anything here. So again, basically you're, you're dealing with a business opportunity for a lot. What you have to consider is that these are not perfect squares, okay? Or excuse me, they are perfect squares. They're not the nice uh, design. So if you have a dark background, what happens is you end up with a white spot. So let's say we're looking at this one. It is something to keep in mind. I'm gonna do this with the $2 secret. Again, I want the custom URL. We're gonna, we're gonna change this thank you page to, uh, let's see, we'll do my other blog, the davidgardner.com. Again, just to show you how people can go to different places. And we're going to do an already subscribed page to uh, we'll do another one with uh, let's see dot com squeeze. We'll do the other opt-in going to uh, one of Russell Brunson's programs again dot com secrets X. Um, again, we want it to be single opt-in. We're going to change this one instead of saying submit up here. We're going to say, uh, get your secret here. And it should populate that once we, once we uh, pull it up. So we're going to create it. And we're going to get the code. Here's the big code. OK, that's code. There's a lot more code here because there's more, more pictures here. So we're going to Control A. We're going to Control C. We're going to go back in here. That was the original code I had. And I can either do it in the uh, the box that I had shown you earlier or if I am in this spot right now I can just paste it I should be able to save it I'm gonna go to my site I'm gonna click refresh and there it is okay so there's a site a little bit different doesn't look as as uh, clean as, as you might hope it would um, so again play around with the site it could be uh, based on size it could be what what you're actually using and if we go through, as you can see, there's more space here. So it could just be how I have mine set up. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be how yours is, is going to appear. But if we go through, let's I'll do a different email. So Dave Gardner. Well, notice there's first name. So there's Dave. And then uh, Dave Gardner. Yeah. Magnetic Sponsors.com. All right, make sure I got that right. And again, we're going to go through the process twice. First time should take me to the, the, the davidgardner.com. So we're going to click here. And we'll watch up here. It should go the davidgardner.com. Yep, and it did. OK, everything's going right. So it went to the, the site, correct? And at this point, if I go back into GVO and if I go to my subscribers, I should see two now. And sure enough, there's two. And there's the second one. Notice this case, I have a first name because that name was there. This one says empty because the first one we did did not ask for a first name. So the more you ask for, the more you're going to get here. But again, the, the less you ask for, chances are you're going to have more people uh, sign in. So if we go back and refresh that again, and we go into the site, and I hit subscribe again, now I should be going to the special offer, which is the dot-com secrets. And sure enough, it brings me right back in, which is then linked into one of my other sites as well, uh, based on how this works. This is my squeeze page for .com Secrets X. And when people sign in here, they go to the offer from Russell to get the 30 days of training for a dollar. But then they also join one of my autoresponders because we're basically sharing the lead here. So it's a great little system that he has running. Now, if we go back into Gmail, notice I have two emails, both to the same thing. If we look at the one, notice this one says welcome to Alex. The other one's going to say the same thing because I didn't put anything in about first name. So 
Um, basically, that's uh, what's going on. I still don't have the email from Joel. Sometimes that takes a couple minutes to uh, follow through there. Not a big deal, but it should usually be going. What, what one of the other things you'd want to do, and we can check really quick, is if I go back into campaigns, I want to make sure that I had actually clicked the uh, um, the notification list. So we're going to go check my campaign, and it does say notify about new subscribers so hopefully it will go sometimes again there could be a little delay based on what's going on but again the important thing is that um, right here is that they're showing up very quick so again that's a little bit about uh, doing your auto uh, responder with the the either the box form or the uh, wizard form again and uh, pretty plain and simple let me know if you have any questions Dave Gardner at magnetic sponsors.com look forward to helping you out thanks bye